everyone. Welcome to the next session of MATLAB. In this session, we will see how to write a program in the editor window and how to run it. We will take a very simple program. First, I will go to new script to the left if you can see here. This opens the editor window. Now we will also see how do we ask for data or an input data in MATLAB. So as we have seen in the previous session, we will first write CLC that is clear the command window. If there is anything on the command window from the previous program that you have run, it needs to be cleared. Then we will use the clear all option. This will clear the workspace and you will be able to create new variables and solve it. So there should not be any confusion with the previously solved program. After typing every command or every line, you're going to press and enter to go to the next line. Now, suppose if I want to take an input, say for the variable A, as we have already solved the same kind of an example we'll take, we are, we are taking a multiplication or an addition kind of a simple program. But this time we will not directly enter the data in command window. We are writing a program for it. So A is say, some input that we require from the person who is working on the program. So input, open the bracket, put a single colon. Now you can just write a sentence such that the person who is using the program should be able to understand what you require for running the program. So suppose, let me say that I'm writing enter value of first variable. If you want to write A, you can write here. And you can just add a colon. This blue color indicates that whatever you have written is correct. Okay, this done. Now I'll ask for another input. So say B is the second input we are asking for. We will also let the user know that the name of the variable is B. Okay, here you can see the input has got highlighted because I did not put a equal to sign. This should come in black always. Now, suppose if I want the value to be stored as a variable C, so I'll write C is equal to A into B. Now, whatever operation you want to perform, you can do it. So, this is a very simple command I have written. I will save it in the bin directory i save it as c2 you will always see that the extension is dot m to the left i can see after c1 c2 has got added now we will click on run once you click on run in the command window you can see here it is asking for the input enter the value of variable a so let me say the value of variable is 52 the value has been displayed the next is enter value of variable B. That is the second variable. Let me say the 16. I put an enter sign. I will get the value of C as 832, which is the product of A and B. To the right in the workspace, also you can see the variables have appeared. You can see the result 832 as the answer. Now, suppose if I don't want to display this value, so I'll just put a colon here. Save it again. Control S. Click on run. Once you click on run, you will see that this window has got cleared. The reason being you have already given a CLC command. So it's again asking for the value of variable A. Let me say it is 10 this time. The value has been displayed of A. Enter value of second variable B. Say it is 13. We know the product is 130. Look to the right. You will see the value is 130. Whatever values were present from the first operation or once we run it for the first time, the values have been cleared because we have given a clear all command. So now whatever you give for the second time has been saved. So what happens is the first values that you have already obtained of A, B, C gets overwritten by running the program for the second time. This is something which you need to note down. 
After this, suppose if I don't want to display the value of A, so put a colon here, I don't want to display the value of B, put a colon. Save it and run. Again, it's asking for value of variable A. This time I'll put 12. Value of variable B, say I put it as 14. You can see neither A nor B has been displayed on the command window, but you can definitely see them to the right on your workspace. Now, apart from these two, CLC and clear all, there is a very commonly written command that is close all. Currently, it is not required. It is actually used for closing any figure window that is open. For example, you have plotted something. So in that case, generally it is used. So in this program, I'm not adding it. I'm leaving it to this simple type of multiplication program. If you want, you can also go ahead and write this as a addition program, as a subtraction program, and a division program. Save it, run again. Say A is 100, B is 50. You can see here, C is product. So it is 50 into 100. D is addition, 150. E is going to be subtraction, it is 50. And F is division, 100 by 50 is 2. So this simple program can also be converted into a little bit of a complicated program if you know the equation that you want to use. I have written a very simple equation of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, but you can shift it to a little bit further. So with this, I end this simple session. I hope you have understood the basic programming of MATLAB. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.